Hi everybody, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, and welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. Have a seat, join in on the fun. Uh, today's video is a my take video, my opinions and thoughts on subjects and sometimes things going on in the world today. Today's my take is about racism and bigotry, I suppose. Um, question. Are you a racist? Are you a bigot? Most of us would like to say no. No, I'm not. And I think that most of us try not to be. But sometimes it takes a conscious effort to not judge someone just by the amount of uh, melanin in their skin or by features of their face that only belong to certain ethnicities. We grow up seeing people who are different and depending on how we grew up, sometimes we're taught that yes, all the differences are great, just uh, enjoy each other for the people they are. And some of us are brought up being told that no, they're not like us, whatever they are. Now I am obviously pale white, American woman. Uh, my uh, heritage is of mostly, I suppose, Eastern European with a smattering of all other kinds of Europeans tossed in there. Heinz 57, as they say. But all in all, I'm an American. People notice differences. We as human beings notice patterns. That's why we can see a face in a piece of toast or uh, animals in clouds because we as people are able to notice these things. We notice similarities, we notice differences. Noticing that something is different isn't necessarily bad. We should celebrate our differences. It's not a matter of, oh, they're different than I am, therefore they must be bad. No. We have to learn to turn that around. When someone is different than you are, hey, great, more variety in the party. I had an encounter at work the other day. Yes, another work encounter. This person who I'm pretty sure is a really good person and doesn't really mean ill to anyone was going off a little bit. And so I had to open my mouth. I know, surprise. This person had gone to a local takeout joint um, and pick up lunch for several different people. Nice thing to do. Like I said, this is a nice person. And they managed to forget their own lunch there in the process. Now, this establishment um, has a great many Hispanics working there. Now, this establishment is a worldwide establishment who checks their I-9 forms and everybody has to be legal and everything. Um, so they are legal people working there, even though they are of Hispanic origin and probably were not born in the U.S., a good many of them. Some of them speak really good English, some not so much, but... You know, we don't have a national language in this country. So if you want people to all speak English, make that one of your priorities, getting a national language. We don't have that. But this person came back and like I said, they handed out the lunches to the people who had ordered and was very mad. For one thing, it was all, oh, those damn Mexicans. That place is full of Mexicans. Now, you can say that one of two ways. You can say, yeah, a lot of Mexicans work there. You know, no big deal. Or you can say it with a sneer and a disgust. It was the latter that was coming out. And this person was so mad because of those, quote, damn Mexicans, that they forgot their own lunch. I piped up and said, Wait, what does their race, and I should have said ethnicity, not race, my mistake. What does their race 
have to do with you forgetting your lunch? I was promptly told to shut up and mind my own damn business. That person hasn't spoken to me since. I try to call out people when they're doing things like that, especially when it's so unnecessary. I mean, this was, you know, a several minutes rant because these, quote, damn Mexicans worked at this establishment. These, quote, damn Mexicans got you your food. And you just left it there. Not their fault. I think that a lot of people fall into sort of a trap of being racist in that sense. They try to blame things on other people that have nothing to do with where they're from, what color their skin is, what color their eyes are, or any of such nonsense. Try judging people by the content of their character. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Instead of the color of their skin, it might do you some good. That's my take. Thanks for joining. Uh, please click like, subscribe if you liked or if you're not subscribed yet. And uh, come visit me for any of my other videos anytime. See you soon.